we're back with another epic four chord jam song a great tune um consider subscribing if you want to learn more songs like this we've got new tutorials going up every monday friday 7 p.m new zealand time comment below with what song you want to learn next and we'll eventually get around to making your songs we are in the key of d we're going to bar the fifth fret all the strings and then we're also going to bar the seventh fret um on the b g and d strings actually your first bar you don't need to bar the, the low e string sorry just bar these five and on this one we're barring these four so in essence this one is only playing this fifth fret a string this d note and then this these fingers are playing all of the other strings okay d okay d major same as this d not the same as that d um anyway so we're gonna play bass so our, our little reggae strum pattern that we're going to play is going to be bass note with this um, fifth string D bass. And then we're going to pluck the chord using these three fingers, which all these other strings, not the high E string, just the next three strings above that. So, so bass, chord, chord, slap, basically. Okay, bass, chord, chord, slap. And then slap, chord. Okay, so bass, chord, chord, slap, chord. Bass, chord, chord, slap, chord. And actually, for slap chord, you can play as muted bass note again. So bass, chord, chord, slap, bass, chord. Bass, chord, chord, slap, bass, chord. Okay, again, bass, chord, chord, slap, bass, chord. Now, when you pl say play bass for the second one, you can just mute it by lifting up your left finger a little bit, so you're just muting it. Bass, chord, chord, slap, bass, chord, like that. It's very important that you learn how to take this left hand off of the chord a little bit to keep those dead notes otherwise it's going to sound like this if i kept my left hand down the whole time it would sound like this so on my right hand i'm playing it exactly the same way but you've got to learn when to take lift your fingers off like that and then our second chord is our b minor seventh and you're going to bar the seventh fret all of the strings sorry bubba's crying in the background there um, but all of the strings and we're going to play bass note this time on the low E string same plucking pattern okay our next chord is an E minor seventh chord so keep your bar there on the seventh fret and then you're going to change it to be like an A minor seventh shape so barring all of the strings still and then uh, middle finger that one goes on to the eighth fret of your B string or your second string and then ninth fret of your D string Okay, so same plucking pattern, but this time we're going back to the fifth string bass note, okay? Because the B minor seven, we're doing the sixth string bass note. So now we're going back to the fifth string bass note. Okay, and our last chord is an A chord, and we're back to our sixth string bass. And um, this time we're bearing the fifth fret, and then we're playing an E shaped chord above it, meaning it's just like an E chord, but now we're all the way up here on the fifth fret. Okay, and that's the whole song done and dusted. Okay, this, this is the little thing I always play to take me back to the D chord. So, fifth fret on the G string, on the sixth fret, fifth fret of the highest string. Move that up, move your middle finger up one, and then put your ring finger on the seventh fret this time. Move that up two more. Okay, and then we're back to our D chord. Now, you can, I'm playing the D chord for this time, like uh, my A chord, but now take it up to the 10th fret. Here's a cool, um, fun passing chord you can play. For one strum, you can bar the uh, ninth fret and then play an A7 shape chord. Okay, so 11th fret of your little finger on the B string, 11th fret uh, ring finger on the D string. Bass note on fifth fret, fifth string. Okay, that's a F sharp seven chord. So D.
Okay, B minor seven. Now, uh, here's a fun variation you could do. B sus. So little finger onto the um, we're over here. We're on the tenth fret, or oh, ninth fret, sorry, of your um, G string, and ninth fret of your A string, and then take off to play this like an A chord, but two frets up. Okay, and then third chord is the same. And the last variation chord you could do is a G chord, okay, which is just like an A chord but two frets lower, but Bring your ring finger up to play this fifth fret A bass. Uh, yeah. So G with an A bass. And then back to A and then to the top. Okay, so our variation ideas could go like this. Thanks very much for watching this tutorial. If it's been helpful, please consider subscribing because we have hundreds more songs like this to learn. To subscribe, click that circle button. If you want to check out another tutorial, you can click that box right up there. Also consider subscribing to our second channel where we release guitar content that anybody can enjoy. The link to that is in the description below. Also, please feel free to leave a comment and request a song. Thanks for all the support. God bless you guys and we'll see you again.